Dear Evelyn, in the Back to the Future trilogy, Doc takes Marty on a set of madcap adventures through time, where the common theme is the need to alter something in the past so that something in the present can become better. This implies a strong causality between past events and future choices. Indeed, it might suggest that there are no free choices at all. If you can travel in time, then the past, present and future must be predictable. In a sense, they must have already happened. Of course, you might say that events can't be that predictable because Doc and Marty go back in time to change the events of the future, but their actions are part of the same universe. Perhaps they were always going to go back in time and change those events. This isn't a video about the possibility of time travel. Hint it's not possible. This is a video about the possibility of free will. In the free will debate, there are two core positions. One is libertarianism, which says that if we rewound the clock, if everything was the same, you genuinely could have made a different choice. Determinism, on the other hand, says that every time you roll back the clock, you will make the same choice. In fact, the feeling of other options is just an illusion. Your choices, if you wish to call them that, are predetermined. As Pierre Simon Laplace says, we may regard the present state of the universe as the effect of its past and the cause of its future. Laplace asks us to imagine a genius who is given a snapshot of the universe. He knows all the forces acting on all the atoms in the entirety of existence. As Laplace writes, for such an intellect, nothing would be uncertain, and the future, just like the past, would be present before its eyes. Doc's time machine may be imagined to be Laplace's genius, just with the added factor of being able to travel to those places it can accurately predict. If the whole universe is utterly predictable and we are part of that universe, then we are utterly predictable, given sufficient data. The lightning was always going to strike that clock tower, Marty was always going to get weird with his mum in that car, and Biff was always going to get hit with that manure so many times. If all our actions are sufficiently caused by external factors, then our actions are ultimately not the result of our choice, but of our genetic situation and personal history. So why at the end of the film does Doc arrive in his new time machine and say to Marty, your future hasn't been written yet? It seems weird, especially seeing as Doc's just come from the future, the future clearly is written but we can see Doc's words in a different light. You see, if all our actions are ultimately not the result of free choices made by us, but are completely ultimately caused by external factors, then can we be blamed for our actions? Is Biff accountable for his ugly character? Should we cheer as manure is dropped upon him so many times? A third view in the free will debate is called compatibilism. It says that whilst our choices are ultimately fully externally caused, they are still our actions. That is, the location of the decision is our brains. George McFly was the one who chose to hit Biff. His brain, however it came about, was the one that computed the situation and made the choice. We may not be able to do any different on winding back the clock, but the choice remains ours. In that sense, we are still responsible. Lack of libertarian choice, that is determinism, may fully explain our motives and intentions, but there's no reason to think that it takes our motives and intentions away from us. As Doc says, your future is whatever you make it. So make it a good one. Sweet dreams.